You want to say hi to everybody? Hi. Hi. Max, what are you having for your what are you having for your snack today? Bebe. You got grapes. Anything else? Tomatoes. Ooh, grapes and tomatoes. We really like round foods lately. I don't know about you guys. Um, ooh, be careful. Uh, so we're gonna take a break from making weather instruments. We have a couple more to make, but um, today I would like for you guys to check out this website and um, see if you can find some pictures of some clouds that you enjoy. Did you know there's actually a club for people who like clouds? Um, it's called the Cloud Appreciation Society and you can actually become a member. Um, but even if you're not a member, they have a website that you can look at to see some really amazing photographs of clouds. And since clouds are related to weather, I thought that would be a great way to spend our time today during our science snack. Hey everybody, you might notice I've got my head in the clouds today and that's because I'm going to share a website with you that I really love and I hope you like it too. We've been learning about weather in science and you've learned about a few of the different weather instruments that meteorologists use to keep track of the weather, make predictions about what's gonna happen with the weather. Um, and a big part of watching the weather is just looking up and checking out the clouds. So the website I'm gonna show you today is created by people who love clouds and it's actually called the Cloud Appreciation Society. And it's a club that you can join and become a member of if you love clouds too. But even if you're not a member, you can definitely enjoy the website. So um, let's go. So the main page looks like this. And if I were you, I would click on gallery and then go to the cloud photo gallery. And when you come to this website, just have fun looking at the different types of clouds that are in the pictures. These pictures were submitted by members from all over the globe. And you can see there's a button down here that says show more. And you can actually just keep clicking show more, show more, show more. And there are hundreds and hundreds of pictures of clouds for you to look at. Um, so you can you can load as many as you want, but when you get one that you wanna learn a little bit more about, or you just think it's a lovely picture and you wanna see it a little bit bigger, you can click on it. And let me pick one here. Ooh, this one's a nice big puffy cloud. And you notice nothing happened. You actually have to scroll up to see the, the bigger picture of the cloud you just clicked on. So this is a great image of a cloud and I wanna know more about it. So where can I find more information about a picture? Well, usually, the caption, if there is one, is right below the picture, and that is true here. So it says, the smaller clouds get blown away over the Gold Coast, Australia. Um, so, And this was photographed by a guy named Michael Davis, and it was posted September 21st, 2020. That was just a couple weeks ago. So this is a really recent picture. Um, awesome. Um, my favorite feature of this photo gallery is, let's say I want to see more examples of clouds that are similar to this one. Well, you notice there are some links down here underneath the pictures. It says this is an example of our favorites. So that'll take you to a photo gallery of the, the creator of the website's favorite pictures. Um, clouds that look like things. Uh, I don't know, what do you guys think this looks like? I see a face. There's the kind of a profile of a face looking up. There's the eyebrow, the nose, the mouth, and the chin, the cheek. Um, and then if you want to get scientific about it, which, um, Hopefully you'll check out this feature too. You'll notice that there's a name of the type of cloud. So this is a cumulus cloud. And if I wanna say, look at lots of pictures of cumulus clouds and notice some patterns, see what kinds of things I, I, I see are true about cumulus clouds, then I'm just gonna click on cumulus. And then it will bring me to a gallery of cumulus clouds. So you'll notice that all of these clouds have the tag cumulus and um, I'm noticing a lot of these clouds kind of remind me of like a bright sunny day. Um, there are a couple that look a little bit stormy but mostly these clouds, cumulus clouds, remind me of like a nice day, a sunny day. Um, so have fun exploring this website, checking out the different pictures, um, clicking around, ooh, these are neat, um, clicking around the different types of clouds to see if you can notice patterns with the different names. Um, and really the goal is just to check this out and enjoy some photos of clouds. See if you can find some clouds that remind you of rain or storms. See if you can find clouds that remind you of like a nice day, a sunny day, um, and just enjoy yourself. There are so many pictures to see. 
So I hope you like this website. We will put a link in the description of this video, and I'm also going to post it in my virtual classroom for a couple of days. So enjoy, and thanks for watching. Do you like clouds, Max? Baby. What do you like more, grapes or clouds? Baby.